Well, how do the chums as I, Captain Steve? Last episode, chums, I picked up a freighter. I didn't mean to pick up a freighter. The instance just happened. So here I am on a freighter, and I'm just going to build out the actual command rooms and pick up the re recipe for the actual frigate fuel. Now, depending on my frigate type, I might not actually send the frigate out on the mission, mainly because if it's if, if the mission's like a two-star and my frigate is only a one-star, it's just going to fail. It's a waste of time. I need to get a few extra frigates, which means I need a few extra units. So, yeah, I might not start my frigate missions to little late into this playthrough which could be a bit of a schoolboy error but i am hoping to send maybe five different missions per day so hopefully it's only going to take three days to complete and we can do that while doing other missions that's my thoughts at the moment but this might be the last milestone to complete now what i didn't say in last episode chums is when you're actually trying to get the actual freighter when you're defending it against the pirates. The pirates appear with red arrows on them and their actual entrails, their contrails, whatever you want to call them, their light trails, jet trails, they're sort of like a pinky reddy colour. Um, you should be able to tell which ones are the good guys and which ones are the bad guys. The good guys are green, bad guys are red. Aim at them, kill those, don't shoot the freighters, don't shoot the little frigates around the freighters or anything else. Only the pirates, or else you're going to end up failing that mission. So yeah, I didn't make that clear. I was too busy rabbiting on about, oh, my days, I've just found a free freighter, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, so that's what you need to do to complete the actual um, mission itself. I've installed three rooms at the moment, chums. But you may have saw that I deleted all the back end. I deleted all the back end, all the rooms that were surplus that I didn't need. And I've got a load more materials. And now I can install another room. Which is great. I'm just shy of a little bit of gold. I can go shoot a couple of asteroids to put in another one of those. When I come back, I will put in the final room. So I've got five rooms there. So I can send out, you know, five missions per day. I can do the full missions board. That's what I'm hoping to do. And before I leave, I need to go and talk. I need to interact with the console, then talk to one of my crew members, and then I can get the actual frigate fuel. So if I head back down to that main console down there, you can see that there's an icon over it, but it's very easy to miss. Now that's your fleet control deck over there so you need to interact with that to see what type of frigate they've given you in this case i've got an industrial one which is mining it's a mining one you can tell by the little pickaxe as the logo so when i go over and speak to this guy about the missions that are available you would see there's one with a pickaxe and that's the sort of mission that you want to send your ship on but you can see here that the ones with pickaxes are either a two star or a three star my ship is a one star if i sent it it's going to get obliterated i'm going to have to repair it which means a loss of resources no i'm not going to be sending that out on a mission today i'm going to try and get a couple of other mining vessels to go with it and then hopefully my star rating will be above a two but like i say that they're a bit costly they're like a million a piece and that's a c class and you can get s classes and a classes but they're going to be like six million and to be honest if you get a c class and you upgrade it by sending it on missions because they actually upgrade in rank as you send them on missions it's probably better you get some really freaking awesome statted frigates by sending them out rather than just buying an s class off the hoof so yeah i would just start with a c class and it would it would slowly rank itself up well, chums, we're going to be heading over to the station now. And I'm going to be looking for navigational data in those little blue cubes or orange cubes or little flat disks. And hopefully getting the navigational data will allow me to get some maps from the cartographer for alien sites. So I'm going to be looking for a monolith uh, when I get to the opposite side of the actual portal. I also need to dig up some salvage tech at the opposite side of the portal so I can go and get myself the conflict scanner blueprint and also the economy scanner blueprint because I need to be able to find an abandoned area of space plus I also need to be able to find a trading post so I can get a trinket to hand into the actual portal to actually find, no, not the portal, the monolith to find a portal. So there's all of that that I've got to do. So I'm just going to head into the actual station. Thinking about it chums, I've been walking around my freighter, walking around planets. I'm fairly sure the pilgrim the pilgrim attribute is probably going to pop while I'm walking around here. I'm fairly close to a thousand odd steps. I won't be surprised. But yeah, let's have a look, see if we can find any navigational data. No, that's a data pad. Uh, oh, there we go. Pilgrim. Ha <laughs> ha. Pilgrim has popped. So this is going to be my thumbnail. Heck yes. Thumbnail done, diddly done. So you know what? I'm going to end off here. But I'm going to carry on looking around this central station. See if we can find some navigational data. And if I can, I'm probably going to get those cartography maps. I'll show you me buying the cartography maps, I think. Because, yeah, just to make sure you get the right ones. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And then the next episode, we're going to be jumping through the um, black hole, I'm hoping. And arriving at the opposite side of a black hole. So I'll see you for that. Take care for now. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. 
Well, that's a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck, yes. There's also merch on this screen now. Awesome.